Hi folks, and welcome back to the first Meaningful Money of 2011. Okay, Happy New Year to you. And uh, this is Paul Kerno Cove. Um, you may remember uh, just two or three videos ago, I was outside a Telegraph Museum. Well, that's just about 500 yards behind the camera. Lovely beach, this. Uh, very popular in the summer. Uh, it's a freezing January morning, and we've just had a rain shower. So if I'm looking a little bit wet, then <laughs> just remember the sacrifices I make to give you decent financial information. That's also why I haven't got my glasses on, because they're... they're uh, uh, well, I can't see through them because they're too wet. Never mind. So it's the new year. Perhaps you've had a bit of a spending binge over Christmas and your credit card balances are starting to worry you. Well, today it's just a very quick pointer as to how to get out of your credit card debt as soon and as quickly and as easily as possible. Now, I'm afraid I can't take any credit for this. Again, I'm afraid I don't have many uh, um, sort of original ideas. This is nicked from a guy called David Bach who wrote a book called The Automatic Millionaire, among many other books, actually. His uh, new book is called Debt Free for Life. Um, but uh, his book, The Automatic Millionaire, is available in the uh, bookstore. Uh, it's the tab just about up there somewhere on uh, this website. <laughs> and he came up with this system for getting rid of credit card debt as quickly as possible. And he calls it, inexplicably, he calls it DOLP. That's D-O-L-P, all right? And it stands for Dead on Last Payment. So here's his suggestion. If you go to his website, which is finishrich.com, and then slash DOLP, D-O-L-P, uh, it'll take you to a work uh, book and worksheet uh, all about how to do this. Morning, all right? Morning. Yeah, not bad. So the thing to do is to get all your credit card statements out. I'm assuming by this that you've got sort of several, in that, and by that I include uh, store cards as well. So if you get all your statements out, and what you're looking for is two pieces of information. First is the outstanding balance, that's the scary bit. And secondly is the minimum payment, the minimum amount that the store card or credit card is asking you to pay right now. So you take those two bits of information and for each credit card that you've got, you divide the balance that you owe into the minimum payment. So let's say your balance is a thousand quid and your minimum payment is uh, 50 quid. You divide 1000 by 50 and that gives you a number of 20. And that is your DOLP number, according to Mr. Bach. And you do that for every credit card that you've got, every store card that you've got. And what you're looking for is the lowest DOLP number. Because what this process is designed to do is to find the credit card that you can pay off most quickly. Ah, sun's coming out. Which probably means you can't see my face now because I'm in shadow, but never mind. So you're looking for the lowest DOLP number. The other bit of information that you want to get off each of your statements is the due date. That's the, the date that they want you to make a payment by. When you get to that, well, what you need to do is to make a note of that and make sure that you don't miss it because one of the killer ways credit card balances can increase is if you miss payments or if you go over your credit limit. So don't miss your payment. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pay the minimum payment on all your credit cards except the one with the lowest DOLP number. And what you're gonna do with that one is pay as much off as you can and ideally at least twice the minimum payment. Okay, so this is not gonna be easy. Um, but if you've got multiple credit cards, you need to get rid of them because they're a killer and you can't begin saving for the future until you get rid of them completely. So, find the one with the lowest DOLP number by dividing the balance into the minimum payment. Pay the minimum balance off all the others, but off that one, pay them mu as much as you can and at least twice the minimum payment. Now, it might take a while uh, to get rid of these credit cards doing this, um, but if you make it your priority, um, Look back to episode 12 as well about priorities when it comes to dealing with debt. It's my sort of soapbox episode where I rant and rave a little bit about what's important um, and what isn't. Okay, so look back to that. It might take you a while to get rid of these credit cards, but this is a good way of identifying which ones to pay off first and quickest. Check David Bach's website out at finishrich.com and particularly slash dolp and check out his book, The Automatic Millionaire, which you can get in the bookstore. So I hope that helps. It really is worth getting rid of credit card and store card debt as quickly as you can. So uh, follow this advice and you'll do that. Um, and soon uh, you'll be debt free and your credit cards will be dead on last payment, as Mr. Bach says. Okay, Happy New Year again. Uh, really looking forward to 2011. Lots to offer you and lots to talk about. Um, thinking about going live using Ustream as well and uh, on a few episodes. So 
Uh, look forward to that. Thank you for your support, and I'll uh, see you regularly throughout the coming year. Thanks, and goodbye from Porth Kernel.